And I just got to continue on uh, from part one. Our solar system. Solar system is our soul system. So what Derek Bros is saying, they're going to put you back in the matrix, and I'm going to have to come and, and uh, huh? person say, save you from that crap. So I can save you from that crap that they, they're just going to put you back in the matrix system. So I have to come back and save you. And if you look at the date, I would like to get this star chart and see. So this is what Rex is saying. Or not Rex. Is that Rex? Rex Bear, I think. I'd like to get the star chart and see like his real true, he's talking about Elon Musk, star chart and see exactly when he was born. So what I'll do is I, I'll show you a star chart. You got May 14th, 75th year anniversary of Israel becoming a nation again. And then before that was the Boardwalk Morning Star, Jonathan Kleck. And that's what lined that up. So that's like base, that's like the that's like one and two. And then you have your clue where the next event's gonna be at 6-6, 2023 in New York. So that's three. And you got your fourth, well, let's see. You got four stars over here. That's the billboard in Philly, I-95, that was destroyed. And then you got your fifth star right here. And I saw a star fall from heaven. Burning one at that. And that's five. So I think that's what Leak Project is saying. Interact instead of getting it. So what he's saying is, instead of getting 10,000 views, how did we get a million views? So instead of me getting 100 views, how do I get 10,000? And how do we help a million people get a million others to help? And then that's when I couldn't do any more closed caption on Derek's video. It disappeared. It wouldn't let me do it anymore. But what Derek was saying is we're going to change that. We're going to basically... The work that Robin is putting in is actual physical, tangible, evidential, concrete, solid, undeniable, circumstantial, of course, of without a doubt, foreseen prophecies that are just being revealed. And at some point, my work that does follow me, I... I, I get compensated for it because I've been doing it for free for the past six years. I just see where it's heading. And um, the priority, I want you all to know that we're all working our tails off, like scorpion tails. Our tails off through the, through the tape. Because we developed a creative plan as we are, we are executing you know, we're executing, we are executing this plan. This here, my sisters sent it to my brother, but I had him send it to me. And so what I'm, right off the bat, I'm seeing a crocodile with its mouth open. Going up there with like a bent neck coming up out of there it's a crocodile because that's the collapse bridge and it's also something that jonathan Clark was just showing you earlier with it because you have start with the eyeball there and then a crocodile has like the long face and then with the mouth wide open
going up. So there's your crocodile. Mouth wide open. You got a, I don't know what character this is, but you got your two eyeballs here. And it's like, oh, like that. Like, oh, no. oh, Mr. Crocodile. Crocodile, hippopotamus. Would you say a lion? <laughs> this kind of looks like a shark. You start with the eyeball here. It looks like the shark is getting eaten and the shark's mouth is like, it's like, because it's getting eaten. It's getting eaten by the crocodile. And the crocodile has that look to it, the uh, Akhenaten and Nefertiti type look. Yep, that's the collapse. Kind of has a, this also has kind of a serpent's eye maybe with the mouth wide open, the teeth, the fangs, the mouth. Crocodile. Murder. The bank. Okay. It's a wolf sucking lamb. Deer desolation. As Jonathan Clegg is telling you, this is actually a crocodile. Put the yellow dot there for the eye. This is actually a crocodile. Mouth there at the corner. The crocodile's mouth. It's right here. And then if the mouth is open all the way. So then I show you the mouth opened up all the way to the crocodile. As Clegg's showing you, this huge crocodile is Amulet. Or right here, Amit. Amit. Right here, where female demon. Here, let me let me uh, let me show you on this. It's it's incredible. Watch this. Ahmed was a female demon in ancient Egypt religion that was part lion. Egyptian religion that was part lion. Ooh, scary hippopotamus. Ooh. Uh, Part lion, part hippopotamus, and part crocodile. So that's what John DeCleck is telling you. That he is Amit. Weighs more than ostrich feathers, so here is Amit, the female demon. If your heart weighs more, they would eat it or something. So here's the female demon from Egypt religion, by the way. Also, what are the other... Remember Nut, twin system, they put you there, it's a dead sheep. So when I look at this, I take consideration twin towers, like uh, I-95. Here's like the merge, merge way going in. The, the break in the in the exit 30, where X marks the spot. Is, the, is where the bridge collapsed. And then here's your I-95 heading in this direction, heading in that direction. And around here would be like the overpass where the truck actually drove through and then blew up. So these would be overpasses and that, and that where everything turns in. Everything's turning in. That's what I see when John Click shows me that. I look at the bridge collapsing. That's what I see. I see the bridge collapse. I also see a, a serpent. Everything's about the serpent. 
just going to show you the long serpent here, the mouth. With the tongue sticking out. See? See the collapse? See the collapse? You see the star fall from heaven. You see it collapse. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like a collapsing bridge. If you had twin towers, because the tower is anything that's just elevated a tower. Like, wow, a, a person could be a minute bowl is a, a tower of a human being. He towers over you. So you look up. It's like you look up. And then twin towers are lanes. So if you have two twin towers, and then here's the, the bridge. And here's the end. Here's the bridge where it collapses. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. There's the star I saw that fell. You preparing for Jesus? Because that's what the sign said in the back of the showing you. The one in Atlanta was like 46 days or something that how long it might take to remarry, did ask him. And he, uh, to rebuild this small forty six years. What am I doing here? I'm showing you that it's like a collapse when Click's showing you this picture going down. These arrows, that one sign showed New York going down in I-95. I'm liking this to the bridge collapse. You can defend yourself against, you can't hope. Hopefully you can see the seal. Hopefully you have the seal of God in your forehead. Because that's your defense. So... There's no other better mark to get in your forehead than to symbolically get a six and a nine. Time ago said the Lord is this is is this accurate, Lord, immediately? Show me the word photo realism. Photo. So take a screenshot. Photo. Realism within a minute. That's crazy. So I was showing you 239. A time ago, I said this would take Lord immediately. 240. Realism within a minute. I was like, Pfft. so there you go. To show you a video right now, absolute proof. You're going to see it. You're going to see a miracle right now. You're going to see it. But the guy speaking to you, like the city blocks long, and so the street just hit a cross street in the middle. Well, you have to turn, turn east to west. Just, you know, there are opposite directions. That's all it really means. Images, then we're going to play a little, we're going to play a little clip here. So there I am in a cemetery. Get out, I see this thing. I'm going to turn upside down. So here's the collapsed bridge right there that you're looking at with I-95. Two lanes. Here's the, the uh, I-beams. You know, it's more fun if I can do a voiceover with all of this and have time to do it, but uh, I don't. So there you go. There's your bridge collapse. That wasn't a very good job. Just did that. There we 
there is it. There it is at the top. I hope when I do that, it makes me feel so great. Also, the hose that's showing there, BC 12 before Christ 12 has a tank truck involved in the fire with runoff burning and leaking into sewer drains using all hands. So don't worry about the water. Uh, don't worry about that. The drinking water. So you look at direction facing. My phone says 273. I believe the marker, the mile marker was 296. And so right here is mile 25. Really going up more. This is not, it's not do or die with it. But it's, it's a nature in Bridge the way Street. that people think. The way that humans think. The way that these Already Bridge Street is closed. From either computerized or just from our memory. So look. Program. We've been programmed to be very selfish. It's already showing it's you. To... Bridge Street, Harris, uh, Harbison Ave closed. PA 73, Cotman Ave, Ron Street for miles. That will be closed yeah, money next. Money is easy to come by. And the elite, well, they don't, make, they don't need to make money. They are money. 25.5. Is the mile marker? Us through, through it. So they don't work like we do. They don't. That was, that was the powder that they used to put fire out. Oh, I see. But why was it so fluorescent orange and bright yellow like fire? See how Bridge Street's it's already closed it's like off. Fire fire. It's the new version of the fire extinguishers. It's fight fire with fire. So it's, it just looks like it. That's all. Oh, I see. But how come when they so I'm talking about the Canadian uh, fires? The helicopter on the ground, and then afterwards showed it was completely on fire in that same line. How come before you f they dropped the fire? How come where he was dropping fire at? Uh, fighting fire with fire. The, Fire extinguisher stuff. How come there was no fire on the ground until he tried? For some fire? reason, they already closed off the Bridge Street oh. exit, which made uh, this even more oldest uh, cluster is going on. Simon the Sorcerer. Who is I'm looking for the 273 the mile marker because it says. Nevertheless, when it's showing a pot of look at the direction you're facing. So I'll get on my phone. It says 273. And when it shows a street. I don't know what street it supposedly is. About five years ago, I was watching a video. Listen to it. I was back 2018. It was made. I was reading about the fire coming down from heaven and the sight of men to deceive those that dwell upon the earth. So we're, this is the earth. So this is June. I uploaded June 11th, but this is the video from 6 9 on Friday. 36 hours and 13 minutes before the actual explosion took place. The fire is starting to come down from Canada, which represents the higher north, which means heaven. Living up in Canada, I believe that's how it's supposed to be. And then there's an angel at the bottomless pit. He could be in South America. And then America is the middle ground, as in the Vesca Pisces, birthing canal, matrix system, we're here in the middle. So, uh, the angel of Bottom is pit from below, the Lord God in heaven from above. And even in the Philadelphia landscape, it's unusual how you have that character that looks just like Skip Heitzing, and he said at the time he's going to spray the ants. As I was saying, it looks like he's spraying something down at the bottom there. And then others confirmed that, yes, that's Skip, yep, that's uh, Johnny there that he drew, that's in front of him, that's the head of the serpent, um, that's wearing a crown, in the landscape. And Israel is going to get wiped out by Skip from above at the higher heights in the Philadelphia landscape. And so all I can do is just see it and tell you what's coming, that what I think is coming. Meteorites, missiles, fallen stars. They can blame it on a fallen star. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's exactly what it's gonna be. And the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from heaven. Three years ago, April 11th, 2020, three years and exactly 30 days, 33 ago, no, me, the two months, three years and two months, thir three, two, and then lo and behold, what do I see? Here's what I see. This is my story that I'm writing down, making a record of it. And I'm telling you what I see. These are my eyes. This is what I see. You may see the same thing. You may not see the same thing. I don't force anybody to see what I see. You either see it or you don't. I could be wrong. I could be I could be right. I see a star right there. Coming from heaven. Like down. The angel of the bottomless pit. And fire is coming with it. Smoke rising up. And it happened on June 11th, six, uh, 2023, Jacob Israel's birthday, when I was expecting something to happen. I'm sure I got 
80% of my predictions wrong, 20% right. But the ones that I got right are the ones that count. The 80% that are wrong, how am I supposed to know? I'm just guessing. And that star hit Philadelphia dead. Boy, did it ever hit Philadelphia. Look at that. That star hit Philadelphia dead center. <laughs> of I-95. Coming down on 95 degree angle. So we're looking at 273 West. I'm still trying to find in the video where when I was driving. It's fire. It's coming from heaven. But remember, God could have repented and let that cup pass because you interpreted it in a negative way. You had a negative view of things. That's why you well, you take it as a literal way. It's happening in spirit. I mean, you're going to literally see it too, but not as drastic. Be more positive. Have a positive outlook on this Depending one. Depending on your interpretation of, of it. Why do you always have to think so negative in the bottomless pit? Is that because you're a reprobate? You didn't have me taught by Stephen James to Sean, have you? You've been deceived by that guy? There's two seven. There it is. Two seven three. That's the marker. And the place that I. Oh, hold on. That's what reminds me of that. Two, I'm facing two seventy three. So there it is. Two seventy three right there. All right, so I'm facing it, which means I'm still going in the right direction. I'm getting ready to pass. <clears throat> but it's not, I, mean, I mean, how come there's tragedies? 9-11, all these people died all at once or was sacrificed. How come all these people? Well, everybody does die one way or another. But why is there so much suffering in this world? There. I got one more mile until the explosion happens. 36 hours, 13 minutes before the explosion took place. Driving by talking about these things. I'm driving on 95, 27.3 marker, so I'm facing. That, that could be eliminated. I understand death. Yeah, everybody's gonna die. It sucks, you leave, you leave, you lose somebody early, but if they're heading to heaven, they're free, they're good. You just have to deal with the loss because you won't see them until you get there. But you really don't believe that you're going anywhere, or you really don't believe that the person is actually in heaven either. So you live life down here with kind of a doubt. And here comes the exit. This is supposedly where the truck uh, image that they showed you just turned, made the turn, and hit the corner. And so you. There's 289. 289. Facing 273. That's what I was facing. You, was you will suffer more because you don't know the truth. It's because we're at the beginning so what, of the foundations right of the world. That's I can why. answer that question now. Easily. And I never could before because I, I hated it too. I hated when people ask that question. Why does he allow the children dying? Why does he allow this? Why does he suffer? Why are we slaves? Why this? Why that? Well, that's because... So this is the exact spot that collapsed, right here, on I-95 as I drove by it. Because you got your tower there. You've seen it in the news. I don't know exactly what spot it is to, to find it. There it is. There's the tower that I'm at. Here's the tower. Here's the tower ahead of it, further up. Here's the fire. There's the mayhem before 
before I drove by the spot that created the mayhem. Right about there. There you go. You see the Route 30 right here. You see the tower right here. You may even see the foreshadowing of fire. You see those little two fire spots? I could be stretching it, but there's that. And then and then there I am again. There's the there's the exit route 30, 30 tons of explos explosive materials were disappeared, like Paul Begley was, uh, he was talking about. And then considering I'm, I'm getting ready to drive by it, and that spot, you can see that it's, it's the dark spot. And then when you zoom out from Google Maps, it proves that that's the exact same spot. Why are we slaves and why this and why that? Well, that's because we all been lied to. We all been lied to. at mile marker two nine point six, so twenty nine six. Twenty nine six. They just wanted to make sure that they showed you all three sixes in a row. So we've all been lied to. That <laughs> when look when I said that. Look what happened exactly 36 hours and 13 minutes later. Because we've all been lied to. That's the same spot, by the way. Hey, Hey, I drove over that spot. You see that spot that's burning in smoke right there? They said someone crashed and burned and whatever the story was. I drove by that spot 36 hours prior to that. And it happened on Jacob Israel's birthday and Grimace's birthday. Happy birthday, Grimace. I've been intentionally set. What, who would even think that for a second? Who would think that for a second is the fire underneath of that bridge is an identical looking fire to the Canadian fires that started with petroleum based product was the source of the fire. Yeah, we're rebuild at we're gonna rebuild this. It's critical, it's a critical artery. 95, of course, the roadway, because it supports our economy. It's not the purpose of the gods that are coming against each other to collapse the system. Not at all, but our economy plays a definite important role in everyday folks' lives here. Everyday lives. 
So we're going to bust the Kenwood line. I don't know what that Kenwood line is, but apparently you're going to bust that next. If we can repurpose equipment, we can bust the Kenwood lines. I mean, this is remarkable devastation. A remarkable. Re I find myself thanking the Lord uh, that no motorist on, on 95 were injured or died. Nevertheless, underneath, the ones, you know, the, the ones that were in the truck, we begin with the overpass collapse caused. Two mile stretch closed. From William Penn Building to the Art Museum is a two mile stretch also. Officials say reopening the major intersection. Oh, there was a beehive in New York. So it's, here's the tit for tat. On the 9th, the beehive. On the 11th, collapse. Beehive, beehive. Queen Bee. I think everybody showed this. At least one vehicle is still trapped underneath. That was the guy that apparently burned up. doing this fast because I have so many of them that I got to get through that normally I would like to spend more time on it. And then I turn back and I s start walking back the other direction towards the truck as Clex referring to the truck along with the, the bridge that's collapsed here. The cemetery, Gallagher. In the news, it showed Gallagher. So that was my tie in right there, Gallagher. I see another headstone that says Gallagher. And then in the story, it says Daniel F. Gallagher via Story Full, right below the four stars. I saw a star full 95 degrees. Gallagher, Gallagher. In John Pickleck's video, who can make straight? Who can make straight? Now look at this. Ready? There's Gallagher. It's the opposite look on the back of all these headstones. It's the only June one 13th. with the name on facing... The opposite direction or your soul? Now look at this. Ready? There's Gallagher. Wow. Look at that Gallagher. And then considering Gallagher is being shown on this side of the, the fire. And then two days later, John Picklick's talking about Gallagher. That's how I tie it in together. Which means he's like putting his thumbprint on this event that just completely collapsed the whole East Coast major highway, the most busiest intersection that brings trade back and forth to, into Philadelphia itself directly uh, has just been crippled. Uh, Gallagher, a descendant of a foreign he helper. So there's a foreign helper, a descendant of a foreign helper. You couldn't even think this stuff up. Like, you just can't even make this stuff up. So to think that I know the gods of the masters of the universe and and they're going to start doing more and more battle and, and it happens mainly in Philly because I believe Derek Rhodes is talking about Switzerland, which is the same tower that looks exactly the same tower as Antipas 
because it's saying my faithful uh, witness and then global witness and then not de not denying my name your seat is where Satan is and all nations flow unto it so Philadelphia all the nations are flowing into the Benjamin Franklin Parkway where all the flags are up you got Poland there you got Switzerland you got Sweden and you got Italy all the like the main four and you got Jonathan Cleck and you got Derek Rose and you got uh, you got Jacob Israel Italy you got the Poland side Ukraine is over there Israel you have Stephen Noon show me the very first portion with the earthquake that small crater where it says holy I mean it shows a hole cone and then one there so like the holy one right in front of Israel so the whole entire Philadelphia landscape is a is Bible a small small version of of the Bible and where everybody's actually at like the four corners of the, the four corners of the earth where are they at there's a few different ones but Look at that, all of 95 is shut down. Look what that did. Can you imagine? 95 is always packed, no matter what time, really, you leave. So can you imagine how much more of, of, of a hassle it brings all in that area? Because I saw a star fall from heaven. All that, look, all the negative is just closed <laughs> it's just man it's messed up right on the back it's a heavy load to be carrying on your back there Johnny falling upside down with your glad eyewear on and your fangs with your sunglasses on falling upside down kissing your girlfriend with the mouth I forget what I was looking for but everything ties in together anyway whatever I'm saying is gonna remind me of the next thing it reminds me of the next thing and then after that there's the tower. Just keep looking. That's what my, that's what looks like the uh, it's at Switzerland. There's Switzerland. There's the flag. The Terrence on 18th Street. William Penn Building's right up. You see, Billy's a little excited. Poland, where the St. Peter and Paul Basilica is. And then you got Jacob Israel with the Italian role, Italy. And Sweden. It's right there. Let's talk about Geneva, Switzerland, where this is, where Derek's talking about it. Keep in mind, the scripture says where Satan lives. I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. I'll show you the picture in a minute. It's just, again, that my I lined them all up and, all, and they just got scattered, so it's harder to tell a story. But Derek's saying how he appreciates uh, Donut. Donut Factory he joins in. So I'm looking at Logan Square, the all-seeing eye, the desert, the garden, possibly uh, Golgal Golgotha, place of the skull, or the, go uh, not the place of the skull, the garden where he was betrayed at, David's tomb, or Lazarus, or tomb of Christ. 
So it looks like a, a ring. It's a Lord of Rings. It's a donut. So first, let's talk about Geneva, Switzerland, where this is at. Where Satan's throne is. Let me find where they scattered it. Scattered them at. Okay, here he is. Bring them all the way down here. So you have the Gallagher. BIS. Switzerland, the Bank of International Settlements. This is the godfather, godmother, grandfather of banking, global banking. End of story. End of story of the global banking. And so I'm showing you this. There, giving you. So it's just something that has a similar look to it. It's at Switzerland right there. The, it's actually Switzerland. And you're talking about the Bank of America. It's the Bank of the Banks of the Banks. It's at the four corners of the earth of the the four corners. Huh? It's the opposite lick on the back. So when I see something like that, I'll screenshot it. You know, if I don't get time to do the videos, those of you that already pay attention, you have access to my information, to logging in and seeing what I see. I tell stories through my Google Photos where I snap the screenshots of everything. And I do it in line, but then it gets scattered to make it more difficult somehow. So it's the grandfather, the global banking, end of story. Couldn't be any more identical at Switzerland, same thing. So I know where your seat, I know where Satan dwells. And different idea, you know, October 4 or 14th. Solar eclipse is coming up. That's the four corners. It crosses perfectly over the four corners. So let's see how perfectly this crosses over four corners. I guess I'm turning things upside down. Look at that. How cool is that? Can't even make this stuff up. That's the Vatican. It's upside down. Sister City. Our... Mm. Clear it up. All right, okay, just go away. Hmm. So the reason why I call it a four corners. I'll tell you, if it ain't one gang stalking tactic, it's another. Is because <laughs> it's because uh, whatever. Switzerland is here. Poland is here. The flags. Italy is here, and Sweden is here. So these are the four corners. That's looking like that's where Satan's seat is.
because it's all about the flags. It's all about the the countries that are being represented. Sweden is here. Italy is Omar. Vatican City, Italy. And then you got Poland. So these are the four corners. There's one corner. There's two corners. There's three corners. And then there's four corners. So they're my four corners because the flags represent the corner. And in each building, that's Capernaum, Kaepernick, Vatican City, St. Peter and Paul Basilica, Church, would you say Church of Pergamum? My faithful or my faithful witness, Antipas, who had not denied my faith. That's the four corners. It crosses perfectly over the four corners. Yep, perfectly. Same tower, assembly, Jesus breaking bread, assembly, nations, it's headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, you can see right here, the throne is yet you hold fast to my name, you do not deny my faith. Uh, okay, so when you saw it, so, so what you're saying, you can't make this stuff up, that you were looking at, at the same videos okay. yeah. that I showed. I haven't gone over and checked out Robin's channel. Robin does some uh, some some interesting work. He's he's followed me for a little while. He's had some things trying to figure me out, but I love him. He's a great guy. We got to talk on the phone. Uh, we've had a couple of different conversations. Very, very sweet man we have. I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. Yet you hold fast to my name and you did not deny my faith. Even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness who was killed among you where Satan dwells. So he's giving you instructions as to where Satan dwells. Now, this is Antipas of Pergamum. That's where he was from. And he was seen and he was uh, positioned over the church of Pergamum, um, which is not quite in Switzerland, but it's just outside. But he was sacrificed and killed at an ancient Apollyon temple called the Temple of Apollyon, which is the obviously the controller, the angel over the bottomless pit scripturally. Okay, so let's just let's just watch this video right here of this where it's going to explain Max Laughlin. I want to make sure you can hear. So tell me if you can sit. That's just a branch of the United Nations. It's headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. Um, you can see right here, I won't even say it. Um, look at this, World Intellectual Property, IP Organization. World Meteorological Organization. The World Trade Organization. Joint United Nations Programs, HIV and AIDS. United Nations High Commission. I mean, look, look at all, the, all of the different organizations. And you're going to find, hold on, where is it? Did I miss it? Oh, it's down below. Where did it go? Did they remove it by the time I got here? It's WEF is also. Where is, where did it go? It was right here. I just looked at it when, oh, and highlighted it earlier. Oh, right here. Duh. I'm going blind. I don't have my glasses on. There you go. World Economic Forum. So then... Take a look at this. What else is in Switzerland? The Bank of International Settlements. This is the bank of banks of banks of banks. <laughs> this is the godfather, 
godmother, grandmother, grandfather of banking, global banking. End of story. Look familiar? Cool. Right? Mm -hmm. Right downtown. Center City. So, CERN Collider, what does it look like? Here's the current LHC, which you can see right here. The small one, do you see this? Oh, yeah. The small LHC, can you see my cursor? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. And then here's the proposed one, should they fail at their initiatives with this one? Okay, so they're they're. I'm true getting attacked so severely. Now. It's it's not just about pathetic. boson Hicks. Look, all the crazy part is, is that the boson particle <clears throat> was initially discussed and had thesis papers written by a man by the name of Dr. Libor Triansky, who is the Switzerland's um, right there, the chancellor, of the head of Technion Institute in Israel. He happened to be my CTO yeah, like when Look I ran just... the technology company in Israel in Ranana, Israel, called Vidius. So I know Dr. Taransky quite well, and he is the one that initiated um, research into Boson, which then became Boson Hicks. So just, just as a little footnote in my world and my life. So then let's look at this. So Revelation 2, everybody's probably heard of this. Maybe we'll just, let's go to, not to that. Let's, uh, let's, there is a video here that I wanted to play you, and it was a TikTok. Oh, this lady, I know where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. Yet you hold fast to my name and you did not deny my faith. Even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness who was killed among you where Satan dwells. So he's giving you instructions as to where Satan dwells. Now, this is Antipas of Pergamum. That's where he was from. And he was seen and he was uh, positioned over the church of Pergamum, um, which is not quite in Switzerland, but it's just outside but he was sacrificed and killed at an ancient Apollyon temple called the Temple of Apollyon, which is the, obviously the controller, the angel over the bottomless pit, scripturally. Okay, so let's just, right downtown, the Bank of International Settlements. It also says victory. Oh my God, Federal Donuts. <laughs> That's the place with donut. I drove by that before. I already <laughs> I showed that when I was talking about donut. Oh man. Look at you guys. You, you're so, so literal to it. There it is. The donut, Federal Donut. Antipas, Antipas, Peter, and Paul Basilica, Jacob, Sweden, Sweden, Den, Den of, Den of Lions, Sweden. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin Parkway. There's 10 kings. I've come across for sure on the YouTube platform. But here's the godfather of all godfather of all uh, mother of godfathers. Thanks. It's just the embassy suites. E. And Lil. Inky, Inky, Enlil, Enlil. If I had to, if I had to pick one, I'd have to say I'd have to conclude Enlil. Victory. Federal donuts. What you're saying, you can't make this stuff up. That you were looking at at the same videos. Yeah. that i showed after so you you saw those beforehand i haven't gone over and checked out robin's channel robin does some uh some some interesting work he's so th what the interesting work is is what you're seeing it's just it's interesting towards certain people that i'm talking about because 
well, you, you guys are the gods of the masters of the universe. And you've made it very clear. And that interesting work, I've still been trying to figure you out, but I, I might have come closer. I feel like I'm coming closer. Antipas. Stuff that you were looking at at the same videos yeah. that I showed after. So you you saw those beforehand. I haven't gone over and checked out Robin's channel. Robin does some uh, some some interesting work. He's he's followed me for a little while. He's had some things trying to figure me out, but I love him. Bank of banks of banks of banks. This is the godfather, godmother, grandmother, grandfather of banking, global banking. End of story. I'm so glad I've met you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Robin. It's okay. Skills. Hey, I'm glad you appreciate all of my skills. And it's okay. I understand you're apologizing to me first. You guys. And then talking about the, the shills. You weren't kidding when you said that on the leap year, February 29th, 2020. By the way, Robin, nerd. Yeah. Anyway. I rebuke you. Robin, Henry, T's. I rebuke you. I love you too. Then you've got Gandalf, who is the opposite of that. So that entire world is exactly the underworld of what they're trying to open up, and they're actually doing it. These demons are. You know how many, you know how many people have said that that these crafts are demonic, that de that these that the greys, I mean, even Dr. Stephen Greer said the greys are the, the greys are demonic. So, I mean, we're we're starting to witness the results of this happening in our face. And the story of J.R.R. Tolkien going there and seeing this and understanding what it was, it was an enchanted world, but the level of evil, the level that he had seen, because he sat with C.S. Lewis in the Red Lion Pub in, in England for, you know, for months and months and years and years discussing these theologies. And then it wasn't until he went to Switzerland and, and come to find out he went specifically to Switzerland because he knew that that's where Satan dwelled. And so he began to investigate these things and see then what they were even building. Lord of the Rings is a spiritual battle of exactly what's taking place right now. Everybody needs to rewatch that again and understand that the Hobbit is inside of you. That's your little Christ character, the character that doesn't want to be a part of this world, that just wants to be alone, left alone and, and eat his vegetables, not kill anything. He just wants to have some of his brew that he's, that he's right. made and smoke some weed with Gandalf and it's enjoy his relax. friends and party. That's the Hobbit. And you had said to me about Lord of the Rings when you when you first started. Now we've covered this, but when you said to me, you said, I just said that Lord of the Rings was taking place right now when you just did this video not an hour ago, and I have not seen it. So that's where the Matrix has got us because we were going to have this conversation. I'm sorry I got a little bit discombobulated because all my tabs went away before our show, and we started early. So, but um, I just wanted to hear from you on that because when you started to talk about it, dude, it was so amazing. I was like, whoa. I don't know. I forget what I went over. Just so they're all on record. There's a crocodile. That's happening. We're going to restore everything. Talking about 8% of those heavy trucks that travel through 95 every day are those that are vital lifeline uh, for for local authorities to help transport transportation off options. And finally, we're assisting. We're here on the ground, assisting with the investigation of why the accident occurred. You know, why did it occur? The accident. Why did it occur? Well, I mean, I saw a star fall from heaven destroying Philadelphia back on April 11, 2020. 
build up, he's going to get destroyed by fire. Yeah, it'll say 9-11. Say 9-11 probably that day because they had planned on calling it, you know, 9-11. There's going to be a second 9-11. Today is April 11th, 2020. 40 days from now will be May 21st. And that event, the time around, it's, it's going to be called a second. Won't be called a second 9 11. It's just going to be a second. It won't be called a second 9 11. It'll just be called a 9 11. Second 9 11, Philly is a target destroyed by fire. Star. <laughs> 